Hello and welcome back to the Tiny Ballistics Lab, where the rent is low, but velocities are high. In this episode, we'll be looking at how a projectile's shape and material affect its ability to penetrate a steel frying pan. The projectiles we'll be using in today's test represent a wide variety of 177 caliber air gun pellets. First, we'll fire the h and round pellet, which appears to be a copper-plated lead ball. This pellet will make a good control for the test since it has no special shape and uses conventional materials. Then on to the Crossman Gold Tip, which has a hard, conical, ballistic tip. Third, we'll fire the Gamo Air Star. The Air Star has a very aggressive shape and it appears to be a ballistic alloy. Finally, we'll fire the Crossman Gold Flight. The Gold Flight has a hard metal ballistic tip and a plastic sabot. These pellets will all be fired out of the same air rifle, giving each one a very similar kinetic energy of 14.9 foot-pounds, as tested in a prior episode. Although their masses will dictate varying velocities, their energy will be dictated by the rifle itself. These will be fired into a small frying pan, which is 0.64 millimeters thick, and appears to be made of stainless steel. Will any of these puny pellets make it through the steel frying pan? Let's go find out! Well, we got one of the pellets to penetrate the pan, and it made a very clean hole indeed. It peeled back a little tab of steel that I can't even bend back into place. Why didn't the other pellets make it through the pan? The main reason is that they were too soft. The round ball and crossman gold tip pellets flattened out completely as the lead behaved like a fluid in those circumstances. Even though the hard ballistic tip on the crossman did crack open the steel pan. The Gamo Air Star's results were interesting as well. It seems to be made of a material which is harder than lead, but not as hard as the Gold Flight. As a matter of fact, the Gold Flight exhibited very little expansion or deformation after penetrating the pan. Keep in mind that there are several brands of pellets out there designed to penetrate metal like the Gold Flight did, and we will soon be putting those head to head in an upcoming episode. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more.